Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Frankie Hard Work. You know I'm mean? here to drop another video. Um, and this video about Taraji P. Henson. <sighs> My baby girl came through, y'all. I know y'all heard about it. She definitely came through. Taraji P. Henson. I almost thought we lost her, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I almost thought we lost her. I almost thought we lost her for a minute because she was getting real successful. Ain't nothing wrong with being successful, but it was the movie she's playing. You know what? That's another video for another time. But I almost thought we lost her, y'all. But obviously we didn't. And, you know, she, we got it right here. And she's good. You know, she's talking greasy. But, yeah, so the video was about, my video about today was she made a video. I'm not sure if it was yesterday or the day before yesterday. The video was pretty much about her talking about the Harvey Weinstein. You know what I mean? So she had a video somebody recorded her basically using the hashtag new R. Kelly. And when she did that, all you seen was millions of posts, millions of different kinds of posts, all types of posts. So she said, hmm, let me see something else. So then she proceeded <laughs> to Roger Pierce, I love you, baby. She proceeded to put the hashtag Weinstein, just his last name, right? So when she did that, only one post came up. One post of Mute Harvey Weinstein came on one post. So she said, you know what? Let me try the full name. So she did the full name, right? The full name was, you know, hashtag Mute Harvey Weinstein, right? So when she did that, what was it? 20, 29 posts came up, right? 29 posts came up. So all together was 30 posts about Harvey Weinstein. But it was millions and millions of posts about R. Kelly. So you see what she was getting at? You know, you see what she was getting at with this? She's feeling some type of way. You know, everybody's so blind and want to be like, and it, and it, and it be the black community too. That, that's the shit that made me mad. Everybody be so blind and be wanting to say, oh, R. Kelly this and R. Kelly that. Yeah, that man did his dirt. But like Tyreek Nashi said, first them. Let's get them too. Don't forget about them. You understand? Shout out to Tyreek Nashi. That's a strong, smart brother right there. You know what I mean? Good dude. But I, I point that out too. You know what I'm saying? Like, like why? Why I got to be just him? Why? You know what I mean? Why I got to be all the black artists they focus on? You see they talking about Chris Brown. Why I got to be them? You see what I'm saying? So, so I, I, shout out to Taraji P. Henson. You know, the funny part about it is they, they came out and made her seem like, she's, seem like she was uh, defending R. Kelly. You know what I mean? Now you can't have an opinion no more without... What I do, stay hiding the defender. Yeah, you know, they 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 funny for that. You see what I'm saying? They don't like that. They like when you just sit there and be quiet. You know what I'm saying? But the thing I'm more, now I'm a little worried because you know she made this point. You know she she made a which was facts. But we are gonna see how the elites do now. Cause you know she 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 in mad movies. She been playing the mad movies lately. So we are gonna see how the elites do now. Now when you start seeing people acting funny, when you start seeing things weird happen to her, think back to today. Think back to this video and what I was telling you. How now that she decided to talk out, watch how things change. I hope it don't. You keep it up, Tariq Henson. We with you. First them. Like Tariq Nash, Nash she said, hashtag first them. Y'all be good.